Senator Cordy. Thank you, Speaker. Honorable Senators, it has been a pleasure and a privilege to have worked with Senator Dick during her time in the Senate. I've learned so much from her over the years. Sometimes it was the things that she said, and sometimes it was by her actions. Lillian is a brilliant, hardworking woman who never backs down from a challenge, as we saw with her work on S3, an act to amend the Indian Act, the elimination of sex-based inequities in registration. Or on the day she stood in the Senate chamber to tell us of the harassment she received as chair of the Aboriginal People's Committee on June 11, 2019 by several committee members. She spoke of the frustration that parliamentary privilege meant that nothing could be done about what had happened. Honorable Senators, that took courage. Senator Dick was appointed to the Senate in 2005 by Prime Minister Martin. She felt that she was being appointed because she was an, in, an Indigenous woman with a PhD and there was no guarantee that if she declined that it would go to another Indigenous woman. On that basis, she decided to accept. Last week, I spoke to Senator Dick and I said, Lillian, you've done incredible things in the Senate that have made a huge difference in the lives of so many. Of all the things you have done, what do you want people to remember most? She replied that it was the little things that were most important, the things that meant so much, but that may not be remembered by everything. So, honorable senators, I'll tell you about some of the quote unquote little things that Senator Dick has done. Honorable senators, October 4th is Sister in Spirit Vigil Day. It is a day to honor those indigenous women and girls who have been murdered or made missing. On October 4th, 2017, Speaker Fury agreed at Lillian's request to have a moment of silence at the start of Senate proceedings. This moment was finally, finally an acknowledgement by the Senate of what really happened to so many Indigenous women and their families. Three years later, as Senator Dick retold this, the emotion was still very clear in her voice because indeed it was an historic moment. So Senator Fury, thank you as well. Senator Dick also remembered one of our very first open caucuses when the topic was missing and murdered Aboriginal women and girls. At the end of the meeting, Lillian led us in singing the Strong Women's Song, which is sung in honor of Indigenous women and as a way of keeping women strong. She did admit that it was her last public singing event. Lillian was the first chair of APA to have a smudging for missing and murdered Indigenous women at the committee. She was also the first senator and chair to ask Aboriginal youth to be witnesses at APO meetings. Later, Senate Communications invited Aboriginal youth to spend a day on the Hill to learn more about government and especially the Senate. Lillian believes in the importance of getting Aboriginal youth involved and getting their input because it is their future we are talking about. This is why she has been involved with Youth Indigenize the Senate since 2016. We do know that the fastest growing demographic in Canada is Aboriginal youth. Honorable Senators, Lillian Dick is an incredible woman. And I have to say that her so-called li little things are extremely important. She continues to work to stop systemic racism against Indigenous people and particularly racism against women. Senator Dick, my friend, you have made a difference. You will be missed. Thank you.